cars, especially fast cars, are a pastime of many people, not only in America, but worldwide. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, 41,000 people died in motor vehicle traffic crashes in 2023. More than a third of all fatal crashes involve alcohol, and 31% involved a driver with a blood alcohol content of 0.08 or more. The number of fatal crashes involving alcohol has increased by 32% since 2019. Street racing, the adrenaline-fueled activity that has captured the hearts of many thrill-seekers. But what many don't realize is the dangers that come with illegal street racing. The high speeds, the reckless All of driving, these factors contribute to the deadly consequences of illegal street racing. Illegal street racing not only puts the lives of the racers at risk, but also innocent bystanders. We have seen far too many tragic accidents caused by street racing. The consequences of illegal street racing can be devastating. Lives are lost, families are torn apart, and communities are left grieving. My brother was just out for a night of fun with his friends, but it ended in tragedy. Please don't let this happen to your loved ones. The thrill of street racing may be tempting, but the risks far outweigh the rewards. Think twice before engaging in illegal street racing. Remember, the only place for speed is on the racetrack. Stay safe, stay legal, don't let illegal street racing claim another life. Reported characteristics for the typical so-called street racer. Young adult males with the previous crash, previous license suspension, speeding violation, DWI violation, and they also tend to test positive at the time of the crash, more than likely. Results from a three-year study showed roughly 150,000 fatal crashes. And out of those crashes, 315 involved street racing. The majority of 399 fatal motor vehicle accidents involving street racing more than likely involves the driver of the street racing vehicle and its passenger. Some key points of the report are a small percentage of fatal motor vehicle crashes involve street racing. Street racers involved in fatal crashes tend to be male teenagers with poor driving history. Street racing fatal crashes were nearly six times more likely than other fatal crashes to occur at travel speeds greater than 65 miles per hour. Street racing fatal crashes often involved impaired driving. Further research, including the need for education campaigns, intervention programs, and legislative efforts addressing street racing and associated risky driving behaviors, warrants consideration. Seeing the SUV caught on fire, we didn't know who was in there. Seeing the BMW, we tried to help. We, there was no way we could help after the flames started going. She tells me moments before, the yep. BMW driver, who investigators say caused the crash, tried to get her to race. He was just revving his engine over and over, and then as I accelerated, he stopped, he didn't move at all, and then accelerated like extreme high speed, and going probably like 130, 120 down. I seen him starting to lose control a little bit, and I was like, this, something bad's gonna happen. Two people killed due to speeding. Sergeant Darren Moss tells me it's the deadliest factor on Pierce County roads. That's not how it used to be. It used to be DUI was number one and speed was at the bottom and it's just reversed. Moss says this is the third deadly crash on Canyon Road just this year and the ninth deadly crash for the entire county. Tragically, it's only continuing a morbid trend. Numbers I obtained show Pierce County has seen deadly crashes jump since 2020. Moss tells me a new law gives deputies an edge to go after dangerous street racers on county roads. Any kind of reckless driving, we can tow your vehicle and it's held for 72 hours. And on a second offense, your vehicle can be forfeited. Serena tells me no quick adrenaline fix from revving your engine is worth this fate. It's heartbreaking and it's scary for everyone else who thinks that it's okay to speed and drive so fast because it can your life can instantly hit just like that. 
I myself know what it feels like to be impacted by someone driving at a high rate of speed. Not only that, but a young intoxicated male uh, with a passenger. So while there it wasn't a street racing incident, those are really some of the key factors in why these fatalities happen. Young, inexperienced drivers, intoxication, and high rates of speed. Um, so this also correlates to people with um, poor driving records. In fact, I've been on both sides of the coin, and I have six years alcohol-free. And I thank God that I, I myself have never been uh, seriously injured or that I've never seriously injured anyone, and I, you know, and um, I think about it daily. So we know that street racing, intoxicated driving, things of that nature has many ramifications for not only your, your own safety, but for public safety. But what are the legal ramifications? Legal ramifications could be as simple as a traffic infraction, and it can get more serious. It could be a night in jail. It could mean your vehicle being towed. Your vehicle could be impounded for 30 days. And also, in some instances or jurisdictions, the vehicle can be forfeited. Also, um, could be lengthy prison sentences, especially if someone dies um, or property damage, uh, which would also require um, financial restitution, uh, which, you know, if somebody's injured, uh, you're, you're on the hook for their medical bills and whatever associated damages. If someone dies as a result of your street racing and or intoxication, you could also potentially face a lifetime revocation of your driving privilege. How to enjoy your need for speed without putting public safety at risk? I would say first and foremost, refrain from drinking and driving and uh, refrain from high rates of speed in especially unauthorized areas where you're restricted to a certain speed limit, uh, just traffic conditions, the, you know, just the general public safety. You don't want to be doing 50, 60 miles an hour in a school zone with children present or even in a residential neighborhood period. Enjoy your need for speed in designated areas. Like I say, not intoxicated and pref preferably at a racing track. I mean, you know, I understand you, you might not go down at a racing track, but in a safe designated area.